Hey everybody, today we're going to go ahead and look at practice sets. Uh, practice sets actually rolled out in, uh, towards the end of last school year in April. Um, to get to your practice set, you're going to go to your Google Classroom page. You're going to see you're going to have a nice banner as they want to push it as the new school year is starting. You have a button here you can get to, and it's also located over here in the menu, so I'll click that on. It's going to take you to all your practice sets. As of right now, there's no way to organize your practice sets. Um, I'm sure this is a feature that will be coming soon in the future, but as of right now, they're all going to be listed. So you can see I've already started one, so let's open it up. Now, when I get to uh, my practice set, I actually can't start editing it right away. I do have to click the Edit button. Uh, as you can see here, my questions, now I can go ahead and change whatever I want them to be. Uh, types of questions, like a Google Form, you have short answer, paragraph, single select, and multiple select. Um, as you can see here, it says auto next to three of them, short answer, single select, multiple select. Those are going to be auto graded. Uh, you do have the option of paragraph, and that way you can kind of just leave an open-ended question, and then you go back and say if it's right or wrong. If you are going to be using short answer, uh, I would recommend going to the settings and clicking these two on. So the equivalent answers, so decimals, are going to be recognized as fractions. Uh, also, the order doesn't matter. So as you see here, I'll show you in a second, order doesn't matter. And it'll ignore capitalization mistakes. Keep in mind, spelling doesn't uh, fall under one of these. So if it's misspelled, it will be marked wrong. Um, so yeah, so you can see I have my questions here. Here's the one I was talking about. So I have an answer of 4, negative 3. If I type it in as negative 3, 4, it's actually going to be marked correct. So that's not a problem. Um, down here. Now I want to show you how easy it is to kind of make a new question. So we'll go with uh, multiple choice. Actually, yeah, multiple choice, one answer. We'll go a little history now. Uh, what was not a cause of the American Revolution? And we'll just go taxation. We'll just leave it at that. Now, what I'm going to show you next is actually what separates, to me, it separates a Google form from a practice set, and it's the skills here. Uh, the skills is you're going to, we'll show you here in a second, as your uh, students are working on this, they can check their answers. If they get it wrong, Google's actually AI is going to give you suggestions based upon what you say skill it falls under. First time, it's usually going to be some sort of notes that they could just read. Second time will most likely be a... Uh, video. So let's do uh, American <coughs> American Revolution. And there it is. And before I forget, I actually need to put the correct answer. There we go. So uh, we'll show you here in a second how that looks. Before we go to the student side, I do want to show you that you can actually import PDFs and actually pretty easily. So it's going to open up your drive. Um, so I'll just search for Algebra 2, <coughs> select this quiz, and to select questions, all you actually have to do is draw a box around them. I, that's pretty easy. So I'm going to take that one, let's take a factoring one, and sure, let's do this one as well. And I'm going to import them. And they're just going to show up. And so I would just have to, since it's multiple choice, I would just put in the letter that the answer needs to be. Uh, B, and then search for skills, uh, solving quadratics. Let's see if that showed up. There it is. Same thing with this one. you there it is disappeared for a second uh, and this one you can see sometimes they suggest it and it says it's a graph of a linear equation 
uh, for all you math people watching this is obviously not a linear equation this is a uh, quadratic the other thing you might have noticed as you looked up at here the graph is being cut off you can actually just take it and resize your image so it fits in there nicely um, so we'll just see graph quadratic and we'll go with the interpret of the graphs and now that I have all of that and let me put an answer here a um, we'll go ahead and show you what the student side looks like as you can see here uh, for you math people that are out here watching this you do have math type built in here you click that on it's going to open up math type for you so you can type in your equations so now that I have everything in I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like on the student side it's gonna load and you can see all the questions down here and I remember this one and I'll check it here we go now this is the one I said it the answer had it as 4 negative 3 and I said if I put in the answer is negative 3 4 it's not going to get marked uh, wrong it'll actually still work so we'll check it and you can see it's uh, marked correct as well let's go down to here let's actually miss one to show you what it looks like so I'll check it and you can see it's wrong and you can see the light bulb is now flashing so if I click that on it's going to go ahead and like I said first time it's usually going to give you some sort of notes to read you could try it again check it again and once again show a hint and this time it's gonna be a video you could kinda of go through and watch and we'll hit pause on that and then uh, students will go ahead and answer everything and then um, let me dismiss that when they are done there'll be a turn in button up here just like any other uh, classroom assignment and then um, you could kinda of get more data pulled in that later you could go see in what were the most missed questions the last thing I do want to show you here is the share button. You do have the ability to share your practice sets with your colleagues. Go ahead and make sure this button is clicked on. It'll be off by default. Uh, turn it on and then you could just copy this link. Share that out with your team and they'll be able to make a copy of the practice set. Uh, the nice thing about this is if you're working in your content groups, your PLCs, you guys can get together and divide up a chapter, divide up a unit and um, come up with practice sets that you guys could share amongst each other and then use as a content area group to kind of uh, push out to the students. And that's it. That's practice sets. Uh, it's brand new. Probably the most exciting thing Google's done with Google Classroom in a very long time. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Thanks for watching.